And now, the thrilling continuation of the SML podcast. I import the file. It's just 19 minutes of silence before this starts. It very well could be. Oh, and by the way, I color-coded the tracks um, where yours is uh, pink. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm pretty. Yeah, it's... uh, You're a princess, all right. That's exactly why I did that. The best part about doing a podcast is from from Vegas is that I can be sitting here picking my nose and nobody knows. Well, now I'm leaving now that we part in the yeah. What's well, up, everyone? This be. is what's uh, 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 shut up. What's up, everyone? This is Joe. I'm Chris and, and Booger Picker over there. Nose. Booger Picker Pappy, Pappy pick, the Picker, Picker Pappy, Picker Pappy, I'm, Picker, I'm Pappy. Picker Pappy, Picker Pappy, Pick the pint of pickled. Pappies. Uh, no, poppers. Mu- mucus. What? Mm. Uh, booger. Oh, now you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All oh. right, music this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see. What's big going on right now that we are missing is uh, SGDQ. Yep. Summer Games Done Quick. Which we should totally get Twitch running on the Xbox over here. Um, and that's just for money raising purposes, right? Yeah, uh, all the donations go to Doctors Without Borders. Yeah. Does it change every year? Are they like they pick a different uh, donation, or it's I believe I believe SGDQ is always Doctors Without Borders, and AGDQ is like the Cancer Research Society, something like that. Yeah, I believe so. But I know so they, they, they pretty play much games stay. Give them cancer so they can cure cancer. Yes, so, something like that. They play Call of Duty so everybody gets cancer. Because <laughs> if everyone has cancer, we're going to try harder to cure it. Yeah, the speed run is to see how quick people can get cancer from Call of Duty. Man, um, you, Joe, you can actually, you can actually hold this back a little bit. You don't have to be like right on top of it, because um, that'll happen. Uh, uh, what'll happen? What I I didn't see. You don't hear. You don't hear it. I can hear it. I can kind. Of, I don't know. For for those wondering, we have a new sound setup because other news that came out. Windows I, 10 upgrade happened. <laughs> Windows Windows 10. Yeah, Windows 10 came out, and I got really excited. And I'm like, Yay, Windows 10! So I upgraded my computer, and I lost everything. <laughs> I upgraded to Windows 10, and nothing went wrong at all. <laughs> And I forgot to upgrade to Windows 10. Yeah. But I I lost everything. <laughs> so all day today has just been me attempting to re-download a lot of my plugins. And uh, I lost... I guess I lost my product keys for, like, some of them. So, like, the one, the one that I was using for, like, our master compressor for, like, all of the vocals, like, gone. So yay, I, yeah. So all of I'm, those bookmarked porn sites gone, gone. No, that those are saved in my. Uh, they're saved <laughs> in my my Chrome. They're saved in the cloud. They're on yes. OneDrive, actually. Thank That's you, thing thank about you, Chrome. Internet. You know, you bookmark something on your laptop. You go home with your netbook, and you just pop open Chrome. And hey, look, there's my. Uh, That's the whole porn. reason why I use it, man. The porn video resumes right where you left <laughs> off. <laughs> right where you left off. That's why I have a Windows phone. <laughs> it's completely just for that very reason. Oh man! So yeah, Windows 10 is out. I'm uh, I'm enjoying it. It seems cool. I, I don't have, know. I have some gripes, but I mean, like, well, uh, like loading up Solitaire. It was awesome when I opened it up, and like 40 achievements popped from my time on previous versions of Solitaire. What carrying over? <laughs> Like, oh. I got a stupid amount of free achievements, basically. Okay, then. But when you open up a random game of Solitaire, and it's like, uh, you're going to watch an ad. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Open up Solitaire, you go to play a game, and it's like, uh, you're going to watch an ad now for 
30 seconds and the best part is we only have one ad so every four or five games or so you're going to watch the same goddamn car commercial where the shitty family is trying to sing weezer uh, so basically uh, what you're saying is the end of the world is nigh because we finally found a way to monetize solitaire well i feel like you can't complain too much considering windows 10 is fucking free yeah for the introductory year i guess i mean after that year people will have to buy it but like all of us get to upgrade free which is as long as you have a i don't know i can complain about everything microsoft is doing since i spent a hundred dollars to get the key for fucking excel and and microsoft word and it still doesn't work and i'm still fucking playing around with you know microsoft uh service well you just have to learn Find how the right to use guy it. who actually knows what he's talking about yeah. yeah though i think the shittiest part about the whole ads is sure you can upgrade to premium but you can't just buy the upgrade like you can do a buck 99 for a month of premium okay or 9.99 for a year of premium solitaire Okay, so you can't uh, just don't place... unlock it for good. So, so guess what? I'm going to go back to the one argument that I always have when people complain about monetization is, don't play it. Don't fucking play it. Like, I like solitaire like, though. So it's solitaire though. You, I feel like I'm just going to say fuck you and keep a pack of cards next to my computer. Yeah, right. I mean, like, but think of the work you have to do. Like when you want to make a tri peaks thing. Like, I don't have the room to physically do that with cards. And I don't, sure you do. And I don't have the patience to, like, See, that's the clean more, it up. That, the second part's the big one. I was going to say, it's the second part that's really getting you more than anything. Really? Where do I have the room to do it? Uh, you could technically, if you really wanted to, you could do it. There's that entire kitchen floor there. Yeah, the, I can do room. it on the floor. Uh, you have that nice coffee table that I put into your living room. There's now. stuff on it. You can we'll move, move the stuff. stuff. No, I can't. Y- of course you can. It's not like Remember, it's- part two is all based around laziness. Right, so it's just based on the laziness. You can't. I would rather try harder and save $10. Or I could just hit yep. the mute button for 30 seconds so I don't have to hear that shitty family <laughs> horribly sing Buddy Holly. You can, you can do that, what too. Shut up. Doo-loo-loo. It's so bad. Have you? I haven't seen. No, you haven't you're, seen that commercial. Listen, you have to. You have to remember every single time that you're like, "Have you seen said commercial or, or anything like that?" Like the only thing that I see commercials on is videos on YouTube, and I skip them after two seconds. So I watch the occasional Hulu, but if it's not a Hulu commercial, I've never seen it. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't watch TV. I don't like. I mean, technically, I am now in a house that has like that has tv but i won't watch yeah it. since you're officially living in our spare bedroom yep oh you moved in yep all right so when i come visit we're snuggle buddies uh if you want to try and find a space to sleep he, he <laughs> right could sleep you. under the <laughs> yeah you could you could sleep under the chair that i'm sleeping in yeah oh is it that chair of joe's that's like the chair and the leg rest yeah the uh yeah, it's comfortable. I slept there last year. I have not been able to, f- like, get a good night's sleep yet. <laughs> oh, wait, no. When I stayed there last year, I was still a drunkie, and I had, like, 12 beers minimum before going to bed. I, I, you know, it, I think I think maybe if I got myself, like, shit-faced, then I'd probably be able to sleep okay. But, <laughs> um... It's all we have, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think, um, you know, if I can get a little bit of extra money together, I might look into just getting, like, a twin bed. Just, just throw a mattress well, on top of here. I was going to go camping. Maybe I could do that, like actually. Not. So I could look into seeing how much it would cost to mail that air mattress. If it's less than 20 bucks, I could just send it to you. How big is it? It's a full. That's too big. <laughs> <laughs> you need, like, a cot. Know, you need, like, an work. army I do. Cot. I need, like, an army cot. I was actually thinking about, like, getting an army cot because then I'd be able to fold it up and move it out of the way. I'm sure there's an uh, you know an Army Navy store around you somewhere. Uh, Kefers, 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 Kefers Army, Army Navy. Navy. 
Quince. Quince. Quince Army Navy. Yeah. I'm assuming it's a radio commercial. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Dude, if you don't remember that commercial from like middle school, I don't know what your problem is. They've been running oh, the, the same. The only one, the only commercial I still remember from the radio is that uh, Rita's, and that's why I still won't eat at Rita's. I think the only other one that I remember is uh, I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> Hooray! Oh boy! <laughs> Look at my diamond. It, it came, came from, from Van Scoy. My, my boyfriend, boyfriend bought it. it. Saved lots, lots of money, money too. Van Scoy's the diamond <laughs> king. Yes, yeah, he's the, the man for you. you. Yeah, that. I that's... had forgotten about that, and now I can't un. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Where is that place anyway? Is it on Monday Street? On Monday, on Monday Street. Street. On Monday on Street. On Monday Street. It's actually pronounced Monday, but apparently it's Mon- Monday in every Monday fucking Street. Monday Street. Yeah, because you know, fucking NEPA. <laughs> so right? all that's of, why all of our listeners that are nowhere near our area are so confused right now. Joe. But everyone can commiserate. With the local radio ads, that have been playing for fifteen years straight. Yeah, I mean, being up if you've ever changed. if you've ever passed through Pennsylvania, you've probably heard them. Like, Possibly, like, well, Rita's is everywhere. Which is what's funny though is I've listened to radio here and I've never heard a Rita's commercial. I don't even know what Rita's commercial you're is talking it, are about. Are you talking about like the be cool eat a uh, Rita's? Uh, be that cool, one exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> God, yeah. how have I never heard that? Thank God. It was in high school. You heard it. You just. Oh yeah, you, yeah. You've just blocked it out of your mind. Yeah. But Possibly. I still won't eat Aritas because of that commercial. Why? They're great. I don't care. Well, you, you, you should care. <laughs> <laughs> you should care a lot, actually. We care a lot. Like, you know, that's the same reason I'll never dial one eight hundred cash now. <laughs> eight seven seven cash now. Eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> I so, have an annuity and so I need cash now. Oh, guess what? You You're getting your call from your uh, from your credit card. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you should probably answer that because that's like pretty important. Pappy, if this hangs up on you, I'm sorry. It's going to. All right. This fraud prevention calling for Joe for an authorized user. <laughs> Please press any key to continue. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Please hold while your call is being transferred to the next available. Fuck it. What else you are we going to do on the show this You probably don't want to put this week? through the show. Will be monitored or I don't care at this point. Uh, personal information? Eh. If it gets too bad, I'll just edit. Uh, uh, I, I don't like this idea. <laughs> this is a really terrible idea. Uh-huh. And remember, Joe. Remember, Joe. You don't have to swallow the microphone. You don't have to swallow the microphone. I'm trying to get used to it. I know it's different. It's very different. I have this thing freaking squashed, man. Like, <laughs> like I'm telling you, you're, you're, you know. Thank you for your patience. We will be with you as quickly as possible. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> when it comes on, you probably shouldn't talk because it's on speaker. Well, I would presume. But you have to also understand that I'm not going to just sit here idly as we just wait. <laughs> I thought that was it. <laughs> this is going to be like just breaks in the audio and you're going to be like, what? Is that it? Uh, uh, no. 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 Uh, Thank you for your patience. We will be with you as quickly as possible. Oh, you goddamn liar. Such a liar. Such a liar. <laughs> They are bold faced liars. Absolute bold. This Papa Terrace is on hold. Oh. Thank you so much for patiently waiting. My name is Mir from Chase Card Fraud Operation. And please be advised that this call will be monitored or call. May I speak to Mr. Joseph Camisa? Speaking. Okay. Hello, Mr. Camisa. I'm calling about your Amazon account. And then in zero seven seven two, and we, by the way, we sent an alert to your phone number and to your email at showcamnat.com. You can go ahead and disregard any alerts coming from us prior to this call because we are already working on your account. All right. Okay. And the reason why, okay, thank you. And the reason why we um, are trying to contact you because we would like to verify some information here on your account from your Amazon.com card, and I can see here. You just recently changed your address that we have on file last July 20th. Yes. 
Thank you. Can you help me verify the la- the previous address that we have on file? Uh, the previous address would be 12 South Huntington Avenue in Danville, and the new one should be 341 and a half Main Street in Sawyersville, PA. Okay, thank you so much for verifying that. So I would like to verify transactions now on your account. Okay, there is a transaction that was made July 5th for the amount of $44.60 from Dai Music Today. Do you recognize this? Uh, what was the site or the charge from? Okay, let me check the name of the merchant. It's Dai Music Today. It's a miscellaneous general merchandise. It was accessed through internet. Uh, it's probably mine then, yeah. Uh, the the text okay. message I got said something about like something costing two sixty from some mm-hmm. advertise. I don't know what that is. Like I have so nowhere. Have n- huh? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I have no idea what that two hundred sixty dollar charge is. I don't have anywhere near that amount available on my credit so i obviously wouldn't make something like that i did try using my card at burger king today which was declined which was nice and embarrassing in front of a bunch of people <laughs> oh i apologize for the inconvenience mr Camisa. um so the die music today is valid right let me go ahead and check the alert okay so i can see here that you responded to our alert that you do not recognize a transaction from border free inc July 23rd at $260.81. Is that right? That is not mine at all. Okay, let me go ahead and report this as fraudulent. And how about from, is this the one that you were trying to make a uh, transaction from Burger King, $7.06? Yep, that was mine. Okay. And I thought it's pretty inconvenient if this transaction got declined because the reason why the account has been put on hold because there were, um, suspicious transaction, which is the $260.81. So let me go ahead and report this as fraudulent, and let me check other transactions. All right, would I be able to cancel my current card and get a new card issued? Because if some charge showed up for $260, I don't think my information is very safe right now. I understand. That's what I'm going to do, Mr. Camisa. So I need to cancel your card and the in 0772, and then I will provide you a replacement credit card to be sent to your home address. Can you help me verify the correct home address that we have on file? Uh, 341 and a half Sawyers, or, uh, 341 and a half Main Street, Sawyersville, PA, 18704. Okay, thank you so much for that. And the replacement credit card will be sent to you within three to five business days through regular mail, and it's for free. Do you have any authorized user in this account? No. Okay, thank you. And since I will be replacing your account number, there is an important information that I need to provide you on what you can expect in the next few days or weeks, including payments and charges. I can provide this to you through email. Can you help me verify your gmail.com? Joe Camnet at Gmail. Okay, thank you. So the correspondence will be sent to your gmail.com within 24 to 40 hours. All the information that I work on your account is already included to that. And if there were uh, an other additional fraudulent recession, just contact us, okay? All right. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay before I... Okay, if I may ask, uh, because I can see here there is a authorized user, other users on this account. Uh, my wife, Ashley, but she I don't think she has ever used her card, so it's not really necessary to keep her on there or send a replacement for her. Okay, so you don't want to replace their credit card? No, nah, don't worry about it. Okay, so the only one that I will be sending is your credit card, okay? So yep. your authorized user will not be receiving any replacement credit card only you. So the replacement credit card will be sent to you within 20, uh, 3 to 5 business days, okay? All right. And before I completely close this account, if I may ask, do you have any pending balance transfer or promotional checks within the last 5 business days? Not that I know of. Okay, thank you. And would you like to do a last minute purchase before I close this account? No. Okay. Uh, do you still have the card in your possession right now? Yes. Thank you. Can you provide me the security code at the back of the card? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Sure. 
Uh, four, five, nine. Four, five, nine. Okay, it's magic. So you need to destroy the card ending in zero seven seven two because that's no longer usable right now. Just wait for the replacement card to be arrived through your home address, okay? All right. Okay, anything else before I let you go, Mr. Camisa? Nope. Okay, so thank you so much for picking up the phone for me, and thank you so much for banking with Chase. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Happy. And uh, I'm back. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He answered the call and let it go through the recording and let it keep recording. So yeah, my so, my credit card <laughs> phone call is going to be on the show. <laughs> did you use any personal verification that someone could use to steal your identity? My address. I gave my new address. That just means our listeners can now send me uh, cards for, like, welcome to your new place. No. No. <laughs> they could send me birthday cards in March. No. Christmas cards in December. Poop. It will send you poop. Microsoft gift cards anytime for any reason. I'm going to take them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we, yeah. we send Joe Microsoft gift cards so he can play solitaire. Yes. God damn it. No, I'm not going to use... Uh, I'm not going to pay for premium on fucking solitaire. No, why should there's I? no reason to. If you, like, exactly. So why should I? Right. Exactly. I'm sorry. My question is still, why is it a thing? But... Uh, uh, money. Yeah, money. Money. Microtransactions. Uh, it's bad enough that the new, uh, you know, the latest Windows, you get to play the games for a limited amount of time or a limited number of plays. Now you got to just straight watch an ad. That's disgusting. What has limited plays? Like, uh, my last laptop came with, like, Plants vs. Zombies and, and a couple other games. Uh, Zuma. But oh, so you only like had, like, trials. 30 minutes with it. You're getting trials. Yeah, I got trials. You know, like, those shit. games are owned by Microsoft. That's all EA stuff. I want stuff. you to give me free shit. I paid hundreds of dollars for you. You give me free shit on top of that. I'll mail you free shit if you I'll, just want I'll, shit. Holy entitlement, Batman. Uh, hey, that's why, you know, I didn't feel terrible about buying a new Xbox. I bought another Halo Xbox. I got a $50 gift card and another black controller, so I'm not, I'm not terribly angry. Why has it got to be about color? You I fucking racist. Because black controllers are cooler. Oh, didn't, give me you, that. didn't you go for the white one? No, no. I got two blacks and, and a blue one. One of the special blue ones. So racist. I would have went for the white console. Fuck that. No, me, me too, actually. I, I, I use the handle and stick it up my ass when I'm masturbating, so I don't want anyone to see the shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a good one. It wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Literally. So what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, it's derailed. <laughs> um, well, yeah, when we take a five, ten minute break so I could talk minutes, about yeah. my credit card information getting compromised with some $260 charge for some marketing bullshit yeah i had time to catch up on uh, a bunch of stuff read some some cracked uh, caught up on the uh, brady lawsuit you know <laughs> did, I, did some crack some <laughs> did some crack uh, i gotta <laughs> rinse off a controller when i get off the phone <laughs> no he's not gonna rinse it no he's just gonna lick it <laughs> wipe oh no i couldn't do that <laughs> he's, oh no <laughs> No, I gotta draw the line at the joke somewhere. Yeah, it's like right. poop. That's, that's I, the line. I am not doing ass to mouth with my controller. That's just <laughs> over the line. That's taking terrible. it too far. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um. So yeah, summer I'm games my done quick. Don't listen to the show. <laughs> summer games done quick is happening. Oh yeah, is that what we were talking about? We started yeah. there. Oh, and I saw the uh, the Xbox thing with the new games every day. Their summer their summer sales. It's started. not every day. It's just each or, week. Yeah, sorry. 45 games over five weeks or something like that? 25. 20, yeah. Well, It's anyhow. basically through the um, month of August. 25 new digital games coming out in August. And I'm hoping one or two of them will get... Actually, King's Quest, I, I might drop for that tomorrow. 
Uh, if you're going to do that, you might as well drop the 40 bucks on the complete thing because it also comes with a bonus epilogue that only comes in the complete package. Now, is this just is this a reimagined or just a redone version of the original King's Quest? It's reimagined. It's uh, from what I was reading. I think the Destructor review actually it said that it covers plot in between the games. Oh, okay. So it's if you were a player of the old games, there's a lot there for you, but you don't need to have played the original games. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, I because I I've never. I think I played. Was it King's Quest Two that had the Baba Yaga, the uh, the hut on um, bird bird legs? Yeah, I don't remember. That's the only one I played. Dude, it might not I barely been remember King's last Quest. week. It, it might not have even been King's Quest, but yeah, the only point and click I played back in the day was uh, I remember the hut on bird legs. And since I mean, one of the few perks of being Eastern European is that I actually knew the tale of Baba Yaga <laughs> and her her hut, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I would always get King's Quest and Quest for Glory mixed up. Maybe. I don't even know. So I don't remember what I played back in the day. I get uh, King's Quest and Fester's Quest. Um, yeah, those are really easy to confuse. I know. Man. No. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. no. Quest for Glory. Yep. No. Quest yeah. for Glory. That's why I've never played King's Quest. No, I, I, I've never played like any of the point in point and click things except for i think someone made me try and play no i lied i played mist i did not know like mist um and by and by played mist uh i i ran around trying to figure out what the fuck was going on in that game for like three hours and then rage quit yeah i can't wait for the movie next year wait what they're making a mist movie it's not next year but it's it's in development what the fuck is that game even about? Like, I don't, like... <laughs> well, remember, there are multiple books. I tried reading one of the missed books, and it was more boring than the game for me. Uh, so, I don't know. The movie's going to be just three guys wandering around a beautiful island and occasionally solving math. Yeah. They're just going to be banging their heads against, like, trees. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Hollywood. They'll eventually solve it. There's going to be, like, a giant alien demon monster that they have to fight. Yeah. You don't forget, we're getting a fucking Minecraft movie. Yeah. And we're already getting posters for the Warcraft movie. Yeah, I'm okay with that, though. I mean, War- listen, Warcraft there's at least a lot of lore and a lot of, you know, stuff in the Warcraft universe. I will be very upset if at some point during the movie... The orcs, the, you know, the orc captain. Okay, so let me rephrase that. At some point during the movie, the orc captain has to point to a guy and tell him to do something, whereas the guy just goes, okay, and wanders off. Or I'll be very upset. Why? That's all I remember of the first Warcraft game is, is you tell your guys <laughs> to do stuff like, okay. Okay. Like the saddest voice in the world. Like, go build a hut. Okay. Yeah, I never played it. <laughs> <laughs> You are not the target audience. <laughs> I'm not the target audience for this entire episode so far. Yeah, so far. I don't know. Don't you have any credit cards? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Huh. What What about the games done quick? Um, I'm not quick <laughs> at playing games. I play games, but I don't do them quickly. The, how so about, we need the games done slowly and sensually? How about, how yeah. about that uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 run? <laughs> God, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. So I guess we'll talk about that because uh, it's sort of news, I it's, guess. It's memorable from those who have watched the marathon so yeah, far. Yeah. So, so anybody that's actually watched the marathon so far, there was a, there was I, I, a kid, I guess. How old was that dude? I have no idea. All right. So, well, there was this some, there was probably some late t- teens or in mid 20s, something like that. I'm going to go late teens, maybe. Um, so, uh, there was this kid that was doing a, a speed run of uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. And the whole way, like, the, the, the thing that he was using to speed run it was um, death manipulation. Yeah, so basically, game, game over abuse, the title even said. Right. So, basically, it's, you know, you run up, you get the gem, and as soon as you get the gem, you just kill yourself repeatedly. Um, just to, to exit out of the level. exit out of the level. Instead of finishing the level. Right. Um, so the, the kid was like making a, a bunch of jokes and wisecracks and remarks, uh, about like 
killing himself and like suicide and all that kind of stuff and then eventually it kind of like spiraled into um like just uh, it was very awkward it was it was it was really uncomfortable to watch because it was just kind of like the comments that he was coming off with it was just kind of like yeah very unnerving i guess okay okay sure he even likened playing the game to domestic abuse like i need to get away but i can't stop like yeah. it's so it was just uncomfortable humor the it whole was time. it, it was uncomfortable the entire time he he ended up like like they somebody like someone they were reading off a donation that had something to do with iwata and like just completely like as soon as the thing was uh, as, as soon as the uh, comment was over he just goes like rip like just super like 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 super nonchalantly like very oh. stoic yeah just kind of rip rip like just like dude what the f- like really you can't even say rest in peace now is that <laughs> like have we acronymed real life now see now here's the rip. thing i understand if you're gonna say like rip like in a joking because in 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 my eyes, if you're gonna go like rip, you're 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 saying that in a in kind of like a jokingly like, you know, it, like it, Kim Kardashian died. Rip. Yeah, like or 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 like or like oh man, my fucking my fan died on my computer. Like rip, rip. in peace. Like you know, yeah. like shit that, like that. That would like be it, someone like oh yeah, there was a massacre at a school yesterday. <laughs> rip. Yeah, like that. Like it. It was the equivalent of that kind of comment in that in that kind of. Uh, manner and then towards the end of it like like well there was other things too in the middle of it, like he's just like making random noises like he he would make golem noises for some reason yeah like, like <laughs> yeah like really some, like the, one of the running themes for a lot of the sgdq like they have a super metroid run and at the end of the game you can save like these three animals that teach you different tricks through the game or you can leave them and it's just like a little tiny thing you can do, but they have a big bidding war the entire week of save the animals or kill the animals. And the one donation read off and put the uh, kill the animals. And he's like, Crash Bandicoot is an animal. Uh, you don't want to kill the animals. Like he's just kind of like it was it was there. There's a there's a YouTube compilation that somebody put together of like all the quote unquote highlights. Yeah. Um. Of, of the shit that he was pulling off but the most unnerving part of it was like at the end of it he was just like i'm going to kill all of you i'm going to go crazy and kill everybody yeah like at a heavily attended very family oriented event yeah so this kid basically has social issues Pretty much, like I and made we the put him on air before the really, really bad stuff. I made the joke of saying he probably owns a leather jacket and a ninja sword. Yeah, which is very possible. The best kind of comparison I could give to you, Pappy, is remember Matrello. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but the ninja did he finally magic himself out of existence i don't know but i i've got a heavy metrello vibe from him which chris I think the doesn't problem get is this, with some but... of these guys yeah they may be good gamers but now you're putting them in front of tv and not everyone with this talent should be in front of a television oh and no. e- even worse is he's speed running the game the goal of a speed run is to complete the game oh, this in too, as yeah. fast a time as you can right first off you give an estimate of how long you think that this is going to take at like the longest you give a a fairly generous estimate because they build their schedule around everybody's estimates yeah he yeah. went over his estimate which he's like the only person that's went o- that someone gone else over, did on right? an overnight thing oh, but yeah. there were a lot of game issues there that weren't really his fault yeah but what he was over the the limit on his way to the final boss and he intentionally soft locked and crashed the game. Why? He because he wanted to. Well, unfortunately, this is just one of those where the the sh- the people hosting this event are just going to make sure he never comes back. I believe if, and if they might the, have to put out a public apology, depending on how offended people were with some of his well, comments. If if the word online is true, he was removed from the event. 
Oh, he was like kicked out the moment he was done. I believe later on that day or that night, whatever it was, he was just removed from the event. He was asked to leave. <laughs> it's like removed from the event. I just think like fifties mafia. Just yeah, like, we removed him. He it won't was. be a problem anymore. <laughs> it's like you see in the movies where you see the front door of the hotel and the just the guy flies out onto the street. Where am I gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> I like the ones where it shows the front door and the guy flies out the window next to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. too. That's a good touch. The old saloon. But, yeah, it, it was very, very difficult to watch. Yeah. And and the funny thing, too, is, like, you know, I, I was pumped, like, pretty much this whole week to just sit down and watch a bunch of speed runs. And, um, like, I sat down and this run starts and, like, maybe, like, seven minutes into the run, like, maybe not even that long, I'm like... Joe, if you want to change it, like that's cool. Like I'm, I'm, it was like a train wreck. You guys just couldn't. Like stop I, watching. I just I, looked over to Chris I and wanna, like, I don't know if you want to keep watching this. I kind of just want to play some more Binding of Isaac. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I am not, I am not interested like, in watching guy, this at all. Yeah. Afterwards, I did go back and watch the highlights video to get all the the worst quote unquote good stuff. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah. The, In this case, the highlights were the lowlights. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I feel bad for the kid. I think he was just under a lot of pressure, social anxiety issues, yeah, yeah. and he it just sounds like yeah, just poor social abilities. diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, that's that's probably the best way that you could put it is just straight up diarrhea. He, of the mouth. he didn't have anything constructive to say, so he just couldn't stop talking about unimportant shit and shit he shouldn't have been saying yeah so i i don't know i feel bad for the kid but ah, you gotta know when to fucking stop see but the funny thing is too is like at some point in the middle of the run he's like wow i fucking hate myself like he's just kind of like like he, what was it he goes like i should probably shut up but then he like kept going so it's like i know it uh <laughs> I mean, there were some awesome runs. Like, this has yeah. been a great oh, week. Yeah. We're actually, like, it's playing in the other room, and I wish I was over there watching it, because they just did a, what, a Mega Man block? Mega Man 4? They, uh, they did a Mega Man 4 race, which came, it was like a last second thing. This one guy had a slight edge, and then the other guy got, like, a double hit kill, and won, like, a second before the other guy. Oh, Dude, these shit. races... These races have probably been the one thing that has been more entertaining than anything else in these runs. There's some like, intense shit. Dude, that fucking... The Donkey Kong one was really good. Oh, man. Uh, the Donkey Kong... Yeah, Donkey Kong Country one. Like, they were within... They all finished within, like, 15 seconds of each other. Something like that. Um, and the one guy just, like, he would fuck up and fall behind and then do pull something off he got like a minute ahead at yeah, the one point like he he was the only guy that like he would fuck up he'd get he'd, he'd get really far behind but then he would pull off something absolutely fucking incredible that the other guys weren't even gonna attempt and then like all of a sudden he's in the lead again like it's it and, was and he, even with like a minute lead he still ended up yeah he ended up, it up somehow yeah <laughs> and took second out of, I think, four or three. three. There was three runners. There was one that had a four-man race, which was crazy. Yeah, the four. <laughs> yeah, which one was it? I'm trying to remember. Um, was that... That was another Mega Man, wasn't it? I don't know. There have been, there have been so, so many. There's been All a right. lot of runs. You guys just keep talking. I'll be back in five minutes. You couldn't shit while I was dealing with the fucking credit card company? I didn't have to shit when you were dealing with the credit card company. God damn it. Just your, take your, your microphone in with you. Runs. You should you should just take you should take the mic in with you. Yeah. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go call my credit card company. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to do it on the show. That's been made very clear. <laughs> That's obviously what Joe oh did. <laughs> yes, keep talking to us. I don't even know if can you hear us? Apparently not. Damn it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I just I just want him to keep yelling random shit as he's making random shit. <laughs> God damn it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, do we have any emails? No. No, we don't. No? Are you crazy? Nobody emails listen, us anymore. Listen, I just... Although, if you're listening, you are more than welcome to email us at the SML podcast at gmail.com. We would love to get your email and read off whatever you write to us. Because as has been noted in the past, we will read pretty much 
anything that gets sent to us. Yep. So if you just want to like self whore yourself, self whore yourself. Yeah. If you want to whore yourself out to us, you can do that too. Self whore your whore self out self-whore to self us. Yeah, something like that. Make yourself email us a self whoring whorish self help whore. <laughs> <laughs> Words, right? Dang. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Pappy has diarrhea. I have diarrhea of the mouth. Apparently. Just like Game Pro. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Uh, wow, thanks. Uh, so, yes. y- since you got your Windows 10 to work properly, yes. why don't you tell everybody about um, some of the uh, the games that you've been playing uh, through Windows The 10. neat thing is, well, I'm sure a lot of these were available on, like, Windows 8 and 8.1, but I only had Windows 7, which S- means I... As did I. Yeah, I never had, like, the Xbox app on my computer and the ability to download Xbox-branded games to my computer. So I have that for the first time, Yeah, which, as I mentioned before, I got a shitload of free Solitaire achievements <laughs> now the other thing that i noticed too is there was a lot of like there was some games like there was one game that you were playing that i had on my android phone at w- one point which one um the the make it rain thing or whatever is that also on android yeah because it's xbox branded so i didn't know if that was see now there's a lot of stuff that i've noticed even like like that one other game that you were playing that had controller support. Like I had that on my oh, phone. Dunge- some Dungeon Hunter Five. Yeah, um, I know other Dungeon Hunters have been. Are you guys out. still boring? Yes, yes, we are. Of okay. course. But uh, yeah, Dungeon Hunter Five. I had it on my phone, and like touchscreen controls are okay, but I kind of stopped playing it because of how irritating it is to try and play that shit on a phone. Sure. But now I can play it on my computer. Right. With controller support. Right. And I linked up my account to get my old account on the computer. Well, there you go. And once I did that, I immediately immediately got like 12 achievements. <laughs> Again, free achievements. Well, that's just because you're an achievement whore. Indeed. Oh, Dude, God, I've gotten yeah. so many achievements in the past two days. Thanks so to So I checked my Xbox. I've been a, a gold member for eight years. Nice. And I, I think I finally have as many achievements as Joe got in year one. Year one wasn't that big for me, really. Um, <laughs> you can actually remember. What was it? Was it three years ago when they had the competition or four years ago? Oh, you, God, that, that was a while insane. ago. That's when we lived in Luzerne. Yeah, that's when you were playing, like, every fucking game you could find that had easy achievements. Oh, God, yeah. There were, the one site that I used to be on, they had an achievement contest where the person who got the most achievements after... Like a month, won some big prize with game you and were some top other five, shit. Weren't you? I was number two. Dude, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, and no matter like near the end, I just gave up because anytime I would get close to first place, he would just like shoot ahead again. Yeah, this other kid apparently was was doing like eighteen to twenty hours of gaming a day. Yeah, well, like all the easy stuff. Like he did fucking Avatar during this contest. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I even said like in the last week, I'm like, I'm I'm done with this. I'm not going to even try anymore. And he's like, well, why not? I'm like, dude, every time I've gotten close to you, you've jumped ahead like a thousand or two thousand points. He's like, so you could keep trying. I'm like, why? I'm not going to win. What's yeah. what's the fucking point? <laughs> yeah. So, so you're just going to stop trying because you're not going to win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just. Stop playing that. Go back to enjoying the games. Yeah, and I think what it is, is there's a difference the between you know keeping it close or playing to win or just really really enjoying yourself. If, if two of those three are gone, <laughs> that that if you're not enjoying yourself and you just can't keep it close, then you know it, it's hard to justify trying. Right. Yeah, during that contest was the only time in my life I snapped a game disc. I don't think I've ever snapped a game disc. I've only done it once, and I have a good reason for doing it. What game was it? Uh, like, ski do Challenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was it, the it, one that was fucking you over, wasn't it? It was a snowmobile game, and it was supposedly really easy. I got a bunch of easy achievement points out of it, but okay. it would get to the point where it's like 
a four lap race, the races could take upwards of ten minutes. Okay. And on the last lap in the last straightaway, for some reason, every time I would go off the one jump, it would like turn me sideways or like flip me upside down or something, I would wreck and lose. Every other lap, no problem. Straight ahead jump. It's like when you're playing Forza Horizon, you go off a jump, and for some reason it just, like, shoots you off to the side for some reason because you didn't jump properly, quote-unquote. Quote, quote-unquote. Yeah, so after, like, the sixth time of it happening, so I, fuck this. I ejected the disc and snapped it. <laughs> yeah, I've never I- broken a disc, but I, I have broken the handle of a controller. In your butt. In my butt, uh, I sneezed, <laughs> <laughs> and it just now, um, clenched right uh, off. Risk, risk. For the Xbox 360. It was so cheap. Uh, like I, I, I attacked. I had 20, and I attacked a, a neighboring country with two armies, and I lost. And then the next That's round, fucking retarded. Hap- yeah, the next round it happened again. It had just happened three or four times. Yeah, in a yeah, row, I would, and I, I would got so angry, that. I slapped. You know how you hold, can hold the Xbox controller in one hand, yeah. And I brought it down on my. Uh, I ha- I was in a recliner. I brought it down on, on the floor dick. of the recliner, <laughs> and the recliner was stronger than the handle. Damn. Again, wow. with me, there wasn't much of a loss because <laughs> because ski do. Well, not <laughs> like, not just that, but this was back when I was. Kind of a dickhead, yeah, this was the and I pirated Halo games. Three controllers, so I felt kind of bad about it. Oh. Yeah? But this was when I, I downloaded games and burned them onto discs. For, ah. for 360? Yes. You're a scum. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go go look at my library now. I've more than made up for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you have. I, I'll I'll commend you on I, that. I openly admit that I was a dickhead by doing that. Any of the games I really cared about, I have bought since then. Digitally, physically, or possibly both. <laughs> yeah, but, basically. Uh, or, or for three se- different uh, platforms. Yeah. Only three? What are you talking well, about? I was going to say, or <laughs> or like five. Dude, I don't know how many systems I fucking have Shovel Knight on. Um, One, two, three, four. Have it on the Wii U. Have it on the 3DS. Vita, PS3, and PS4. Xbox. Although that was all one purchase. I only have it for the Xbox and, and then the uh, Xbox. I don't even have it yet, and I want it, and I want to play it. And they just did a run of that earlier today. Yes, I saw the end of it. But yeah, the, the Skeety Challenge was a burnt disc, so I was out like a buck for the dual-layered <laughs> DVD. <laughs> wah, wah. And that's a game I have never owned since then. <laughs> I would fucking hope not. Dude, I have Hannah Montana sitting on my shelf. Which, gonna- Pappy, we still need to play that together. Well, Yeah, but... I packed my Xbox 360. Uh, when you visit, you goddamn. I can play it when you visit. No, uh, for the one Christmas is a joke. I bought Pappy a copy of it, and I bought Jacob a copy of it. Sweatpants. Yes, because it was clearanced out at Kmart for like three, three bucks, bucks or, or something. something. <laughs> and then I bought a copy for myself, and I said that one day the three of us need to get on an Xbox party and play the game together. <laughs> <laughs> same activity, same everything. We are just going to go through it together. Together. Well, I don't have a 360 together. anymore, and I I would sure as hell hope that they're not going to make it backwards compatible. Dude, for that the would one. be great. <laughs> great. Oh my god, I would fucking lose it if <laughs> like, it was. Like I swear to God, if they start doing like how um, here's a little bit of news sprinkled in. So uh, PlayStation is doing a thing where people can uh, vote for uh, titles that they would potentially like to see for PlayStation Plus for, like, the, the games. You the, know, free the, game. the free games. The free games. So did, take... did the 4chan army just pick the worst game and start voting? I don't know if the... Like, I think this news just came out today. They I, have I think three it's... different games. Right. None of them are out yet. They're all future releases. Three different games. The most popular one is free for the month of whatever month they do this, the other two will be discounted. So That's it's cool. it's you're picking one of three games that isn't out yet that you might not know much about. Like, I didn't even see what the games are. Right. Um, but it's a w- cool idea, though. With, with that said, if they do something... Because they did technically have a thing where you can uh, vote for the, the games that are um, backwards compatible. 
Um, because right now, uh, Snoop Dogg is campaigning to try and get uh, oh N- NCAA, NCAA fourteen. 14. <laughs> um, nice. So, uh, but you can go on there and you can vote. Uh, maybe we should just try and like get a bunch of people to to tr- vote for. Him. Well, <laughs> you remember Montana, when Xbox like- did the uh, from the the Xbox to the three hundred and sixty that their initial list of backwards compatible and how ridiculous the list was. Like Barbie's Pony Adventure. Yeah, was there on were list. some really fucking weird ones on there. But then, there- yeah, but then some really popular games for whatever reason, you know, they they weren't backwards yeah. compatible. Yeah, I don't know. Well, a lot of the issues there were the completely different architectures between the systems and getting those older games to work. Right. The difference is that with the 360 to the Xbox One is they made a working 360 emulator that they just wrap in all the games. Yeah. Yeah, so, so there, I feel there like there should be... very, very little work to be done. Right. There, sh- there should be a lot less uh, of a reason why they couldn't put a certain game out other than licensing yeah they but said I still can't play def jam oh god i miss fight for new york so much dude it wasn't there was one on 360 wasn't there there was no. def jam icon which icon, is a yeah. horrible sack of shit yeah but it wasn't that good when, when, when oh, i good. say def jam i'm only talking about fight for new york that's all the, that's all ever anybody really wants to mention when it comes to Def Jam. Speaking of PlayStation 2 games that uh, people have been really trying to find and play, I finally got a copy of a PlayStation 2 game that I've been dying to play. Um, now I just have to get myself a PlayStation 2. Uh, Champions of Noroth. It's a disc version. Like it's Never just heard. disc only. It's it's that's tough to find. It's basically Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> it, but on PlayStation 2. So, yeah. But it's a good ah, okay. game. It's a really good game. It's a very, very good game. Um, it was made by, Rose. what, Snowblind Studios? No, I'll tell you in just one If second. I can remember, they're the guys who did, like, the Baldur Gate games, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, Dark no, Alliance this is a, 2. Th- this is a Sony Computer Entertainment. Yeah, it was released by Sony, but I thought it was developed by Snowblind. Uh, I don't see anything on the disc, so I'd have to Google it. But yeah, I'm I'm I thought super, it was super champions fun. of Noroth. Yes. Yeah. Um, Pappy's on the case. He's on the case. Uh, oh, it even tells me how to spell it properly. Go to work, Pappy. Get the job done. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch, yeah. Yep, Engine Dark Alliance Engine Developers Snowblind Studios, publisher Sony Online Entertainment. Yeah, there you go. Release um, date February tenth, two thousand and four. Hack and slash. Yep, that's a Chris game. Yep. Yep. Oh, I found the list of the uh, the three games. I'm ready. Uh, Armello, which I never heard of. Grow Home, which. Officially hasn't even been announced for PS4, but hey, it's coming. Yeah, apparently it is. And Zombie Vikings. Okay. So just based it, on the names alone, I don't care. Yeah. Zombie <laughs> Vikings might be cool. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's, Grow Home so, developed as an experimental project at Ubisoft. No, the right publisher. There it's fucked. <laughs> Not necessarily. You never know. Child of Light was fucking incredible. Fair enough. As long as it's not in the Assassin's Creed engine, I think it has the potential to be good. Child of Light was an absolutely gorgeous game that bored the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that game is so good. Uh, oh, no, I don't. I, I just I made the mistake of trying a game that is more or less JRPG style. Yeah, and I keep yeah, forgetting no. how much I don't like that style. It It just bores me. Yeah, I, I, I thought the it. battle system was a lot better than just the standard. It was it was much JRPG. better than the standard, but it was still a turn based battle system. Yeah, yeah. The only turn based games that I've legitimately enjoyed was like Advance Wars. Um, well, those aren't really RPGs; those are strategy games. The only turn based game I ever enjoyed was uh, Skies, Skies of Arcadia. Arcadia. <laughs> Skies of Arcadia was the only one. I don't know how you got into that, but you can't get into any others. I don't know. I don't know either. It maybe it was just the the timing. Time, the, it, the, sometimes yeah. it's all about timing. It, yeah, because I uh, it was my first console, uh, the GameCube, 
Uh, it was only my second or third game. I was in Japan. I still didn't know a whole lot of people. You know, I had a couple of friends, but I, I hadn't gone into that where I <laughs> knew you know, dozens of people and hung out every weekend. I didn't have so any. I would just play that game when I came home from work, and I just loved it. I loved the story. I still hated the random fights, but I loved the story and I loved the leveling system. It's a thing. I, I can't do JRPGs like at all. At all. I'm like I'm like the anti Dale North. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. Nice. Anti Dale North. Only I'm I like ne- I like corgis. We're watching Scott Pilgrim at work during lunch, so I'm Nega North. Oh Jesus. Uh, you see how far away from the mic I wa- see how far away <laughs> from the mic I am, Joe? Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. The highlight of today's podcast is me sticking things in my ass and you burping from 10 feet away. And and a phone call from the credit card company. Call, yeah, I was going to say. Phone call from the credit <laughs> company. So, it's a slow game news week. Actually, some news came out today of a game that has been long rumored to be coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Even the PS3 and 360 back when it first released... Duke Nukem uh, Forever? Zombie U. Oh, yeah! Is officially coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One, titled Zombie. Just Z- Z-O-M-B-I. Not only is it officially coming out, it's coming out in August. I was going to say, you're like, tomorrow! <laughs> August 18th. Digital first person only. First-person survival horror? Yes. Ooh. Yep. Is it good? Uh, I it, heard it was it really was good. Highly acclaimed on the Wii U uh, launch. I, I've heard a lot of. I, there has been a lot of people telling me that Zombie U is like the best game on the Wii U. Easily if one the of players, them. Players' characters killed by a zombie, which can occur with a single bite. The character will permanently die, and the player will then take the role of another random survivor. Yep. The previous character will become a zombie who they must kill in order to reclaim the inventory. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. The biggest whoa, concern whoa. here is how well it's going to work because Zombie U was heavily designed around the gamepad. Yeah, I was... And uh, that second screen experience. Yeah. Apparently, like, they've retooled it, so instead of having your backpack on a bottom screen, you still have to hit a button to go into it. See, but, like, but I it, thought that was the appeal of it. It was like, you know, there was stuff going on on the screen uh, uh, on the top, but then you look down at your gamepad, but you had to make sure that you just look up every once in a while so you don't get overwhelmed. Like, the So game, it'll probably be some sort of interactive where you pull it up on the bottom right hand of your screen, but it doesn't pause the game. No, it pops up in the middle. Oh, shit. view still, you could see along the borders... So you could still see if a zombie is coming from the side, and the game does not pause when you go in your inventory. Okay. So, is this single player only? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the the Wii U version had a kind of multiplayer experience, <laughs> kind of multiplayer, where the person with the game cat game pad the game could cat. put game cat. with the game cat meow. could meow 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 with the meow and put the meows with the meow meow. meow. Uh, they could put meow. zombies on the map like in front of you while you have to still deal with it but they removed that functionality from this port because there was no way to effectively do it yeah and cats are notoriously terrible with their paws god damn cat fucking peaches I swear to god (laughs) Chris like Today, I walked into the living room. The fucking curtain was behind the TV was down again. The one speaker was on the floor. The PS4 was halfway knocked over because the fucking cats. And I thought it was potato this whole time. And Chris is like, oh, which which one's the, the orange one? Peaches? Yeah, she was laying up on top of here. Oh, you motherfucking... Back. Oh, that goddamn yeah. bitch. Which no. is actually really funny because it's actually Chris doing it now since he knows... <laughs> Chris is like crawling on the floor, pawing Listen, up at the PS4. If I could fit behind the TV and the wall, <laughs> I'd probably be like a male model or something. I don't know. You could sleep back there. The fun thing is, I know Chris yeah. has been playing the PS4. No, I haven't. Through the Vita? Once. I talked about it last week, and that was it. 
<laughs> no, because yesterday... It's like an accusation. I only did it once. Don't you put that evil on me. Yeah. Yes, yesterday, I noticed the light on the PS4 was on. Yeah, I, didn't I was like, it. what the hell? Who was playing the PS4? It turned up over to the channel fucking rocket league was on i didn't play it i had rocket league on my computer <laughs> i don't know that unless it, um, unless unless uh, ashley i was just gonna say unless ashley's getting that rocket league on <laughs> which i highly doubt but dude i don't know i, I don't have, know <laughs> i have rocket league on my computer i don't need your ps4 anymore i don't know unless the cat oh, fucking peaches is doing it i bet you <laughs> <laughs> yo peaches i need to start playing with peaches and fucking 2v2 leagues <laughs> And you somehow just crush the guy. Just fucking yeah, <laughs> like the uh, the fucking best player in the universe. It turns out to be your cat. Like I would say it would be Potato. He's got to be a savant at something because he's an idiot at everything else. GameStop she, email. Sorry, you, my, your, your my, shit's coming in. My shit. No, it's just some fucking hey power up reward email. So yeah. Video I, games. I did get a fun video game email today from Nintendo. Yeah. August is Kirby's birthday, and to celebrate today, they released three Kirby games to the virtual console. Which ones? Uh, the one for the DS. What, what the fuck was it? Uh, oh, I know what I could do. I could check my goddamn email. And yeah, you could do that, too. You could be prepared like a professional. <laughs> prepared on our podcast. We could be professional. Bitch, you cray. Only a little bit. You totes cray. Only a little bit. Totes. Not a little. You totes mm, cray. Only a little bit. You totes cray fish. Meow. Meow. Fish sticks. Dead air. While I we like wait for fish Joe. sticks. Fish sticks. Yes, because I'm the only one who talks on this show, I guess. Fish, uh, fish let's see. Uh, Kirby it's... Squeak Squad from the DS, which is ten bucks. Squeak Squad, yes. Kirby sixty four from the N sixty four, which is ten bucks. I would play that. And Kirby's Return to Dreamland from the Wii. I would play the fuck out of that for twenty bucks. I had to watch the Kirby versus Majin Buu fight from Screw Attack last Saturday. Didn't see it. So, yeah, I don't know if, if, for those who aren't aware, I guess Screw Attack does, what if this character fought that character and they would actually emulate the entire fight? <laughs> uh, and, yeah, it was Boo from Dragon Ball Z versus Kirby because apparently Boo is heavily influenced by Kirby, like in character design and everything. Understood. It was 20 shades of ridiculous and Kirby won. <laughs> I actually saw, there was another one. I watched one where it was like, it was Guts versus. Uh, now I can't fucking remember. They pulled up the dead the movie de- or video game Deadpool versus comic book Deadpool or something like that, and it ended up being r- just ridiculous. Uh, but that one was the next, and everyone else in the room was just like, "Fuck it!" Now I need to know. So we watched a twenty minute thing about Kirby fighting Boo. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I might actually. I'll, I might watch that Deadpool one. <laughs> <laughs> they said a couple of them will run like up to an hour. Because I guess they, before they get into the fight, they actually discuss everything. Like, yeah, they like they they theory crap the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it's too much for me, but I can see the appeal. I enjoy Especially it. Especially in this, like in this day and age, when everyone's show, always like, "Who would win in a fight?" I forget who they put up against Guts, but Guts fucking tore him a new one. Nice. It was nice. I, I was probably I was some uh, video game character. It was uh, actually, you know what? I think it was uh, what's his what's his name for Final Fantasy because of the big ass sword. Oh, Cloud, Cloud, or the the guy after Cloud. I don't know the guy. Oh no, you know who it was? It was fucking um, the guy from uh, Soul Calibur. Night- yeah, I was gonna say you know, Soul nightmare? Calibur makes more sense. No, uh, like a nightmare. I think. Yeah, should have had Volga with the giant sword. Yeah, dude, and and it was no. fucking awesome. Yeah, Guts would win because Guts is just faster. Nightmare is too damn slow. It was good. It was trust it me. Was I cool. played his Nightmare a lot in Soul Calibur too. Honestly, for the longest time, I thought you were talking Guts Man from Mega Man. No, just Guts. <laughs> Guts. From, yeah, Guts, from so. Guts Berserk Rage. From Berserk. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, that so makes that, more that sense shows where, what our interests. When he said Guts, and I immediately went, "Oh, Berserk." Yeah. And right. I went Mega Man. <laughs> you went Mega Man. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, because I, you know, I played that one Mega Man game that one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, never, it was Mega Man Two. Listen here, you I've goddamn kid. <laughs> I can't help it that I haven't, you know... Get off my lawn. <laughs> the, the list of things I'm bad at in games is much longer than the list of things I'm good at. Get off my lawn, you yeah. son of a bitch. The only reason Joe keeps me around is because I like Telltale Adventure games. I, 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 I still haven't bitch. fucking gone back to Tales of the Borderlands. I haven't done, I'm, like, yeah. the other chapters yet. I'm two episodes behind on Game of Thrones. I, I, I haven't touched either of them. You have I'm them? thinking when I come yes. back uh, to visit next month, or in se- yeah, almost next month in September, I'll probably just play, uh, finish season one, and then play season two in, in front of you, Joe, because I haven't touched season two yet. Of what? Walking Dead. Ah, uh, Christopher Walking Dead. The Wanking Dead. You could just do Game of Thrones here. I'm sure Ashley would get a kick out of that. I actually wouldn't mind doing that because I'll make a couple different decisions and see if things turn out more better. Yeah, I'm sure Ashley Before would love that. Or she worse. likes Walking yeah. Dead. You stood up for yourself. Your entire Game kingdom has been burned to the ground. Fuck. Mother fuck. Again. Yeah, there's one where I played Peacekeeper, and, and my character at that point got murder-faced for it. My God, it's a good thing I took the neutral kind route. You know, God forbid if I'd you know, been a dick. Oh, do we have a Snapple fact? We do have a Snapple fact. It's real fact number 740. Uh, the real fact is I got a urinate like a... Ugh. Jesus Christ, Pappy. You just pissed out your ass. <laughs> Um, poison ivy is not ivy, and poison oak is not oak. They are both part of the cashew family. Really? <laughs> so apparently you should eat poison ivy. Well, little lambs eat ivy. Something like that. Mare's eat oats and doze eat oats. Little lambs eat ivy. Gesundheit? The eat ivy too, wouldn't you? What? <laughs> Someone out there is going to hear that and be like, oh, I remember that song. Uh, There's uh, dotes and dozy dotes and little lambsy divey. A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Uh. No. Get no? off my lawn, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> and that's how it should be. Okay. Uh, so, Joe, what have you been playing have you been playing anything i played some binding of isaac but no i've been watching other people play games yeah so have i um i i, play, I played a little bit of binding of, binding of isaac as well um i am incredibly incredibly excited for tuesday what's tuesday rare Sorry, replay my, my tiny bladder's been oh, kicking in today yeah. rare replay finally comes out on tuesday i have and to try and see if i can come up with enough money to get that i'm i'm gonna probably pick it up there's too many games on there i've never played conquers me either i've never played any of the uh any of the um, dude it's all about blast core i know yeah i know motherfucking blast core. um i never played any of the it's... i never played any of the uh banjo kazooie games um, type. I really want to play fucking Viva Pinata again. True. I, I want to play Battletoads and beat it so I can say I actually beat Battletoads. You won't. You won't. Because, you know, apparently the GameCube or the Game Boy version doesn't count. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. The arcade version doesn't really count either because it's drastically different from the NES well, version. With- with the NES version, you just the, the the one people say is the hardest is the uh, when you're on the bike, right? Yeah. You just, you ha- but you just have to me- memorize that level. Good luck. Yeah. I'll write that shit down. Good Doesn't luck matter. Reading it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Like watch a speed run of Battle Toads. Yeah. To, do your, do to get an favorite. idea of that fucking. I remember watching jet bike last level. year one of those games done quick was. Uh, I want to. I want to be the guy. And I watched oh, when that is the Bashi run? run tomorrow? Thank fucking god that and I I'm didn't miss it. And I'm just watching it. And I'm just watching it. And I'm like, you have to literally memorize this entire game. Yep. Because the guy's even saying like, oh yeah, I died. I was one pixel off. It's like uh-huh. you, you, I, I I refuse to play the kind of game where one pixel means a difference between life and death. Uh, Battle Toads. Battle Toads. <laughs> Very close to pixel perfect. <laughs> Pretty much pixel perfect. I think what I think you get like what like th- three or four. I don't, you, you don't. I get counted many. the pixels. There's at least three of them. 
Dude, it's it, you joke, but yeah, that's dude. how a lot of speedrunners are. Game. Yeah. Well, just old school games in general too were were very unforgiving compared to what we have nowadays. But I was very yep. bad at the unforgiving games, so I'm I'm personally glad that games nowadays have a little more freedom. Uh, every once in a while, I do want to play a game that's going to be like relatively challenging. Honestly, that's why I play like Dragon Age on hard. <laughs> that's challenging <laughs> for me. That's why I play hardcore in Diablo. From yeah, time time. Yeah. yeah, after you've already gotten all the things. Well, sure. I need them again, but in a different thing where I can die forever. When's well, the new X-Bone patch or, uh, released for Diablo? I, I, there's not a date yet. It's in the PTR. Like, they're releasing stuff like and showing off stuff. Okay. But, so it's in the works. Yeah, it's, it's coming soon. eventually. It's, it, it is soon TM. <laughs> well, I know what else is soon. What? Gamescom in Germany. Yeah, I guess where, uh, they're showing off some Halo stuff. Oh, I'm sure they will, but the big thing is at Gamescom, they are going to be showing off Quantum Break. Okay. They're going to be showing off Scalebound. Hasn't Quantum Break been in the works for like 30 years? No, like, like two or three. Two. two. <laughs> and uh, they are going to be showing gameplay of crackdown that Wait, i'm pretty pumped about have they fixed are, are they acknowledging some of the problems of the original crackdown we won't know until tuesday okay i which, hope they acknowledge that some of it was a little ridiculous which means next week's show is going to be a gamescom spectacular i wouldn't say spectacular but it'll be a gamescom show yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, calling any of our shows a spectacular is probably pushing it quite a bit. Uh, probably. Uh, Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. You. And so, in other news, everybody's dead. Yeah. Very true. So any on Fallout that note, 4 news? Uh, they're going to do a loot crate for Fallout 4. Ooh. But that's about it. That's all the news. That's all you get. Yeah. That's all you get. That's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout 4. It's going to happen. All right. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Just don't push it back. Do not push it back. I, I don't think they will. No, I don't think they I'm, will. Because I'm here for Christmas. I'm going to have like 10 days off of work. I need some Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But yeah, I I think uh, as kind of news lackluster as this show has been, despite a decent amount of news that we've talked about, I think next week is going to be the big one. Tuesday. It was a lot more filler news, though, today. And Pretty much. Card like, news. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Nothing really big, nothing to drool over. No. Yeah, I think I think Tuesday is going to be a huge day for Xbox owners with Gamescom and Rare Replay. Uh, a lot of people think that we might see possibly preview program users getting the new dashboard soon. A lot oh of, yeah, I forgot. A lot about of that. people think that it might coincide with Gamescom. I could see that. It'd could be it, cool could if it, it happens. Could it please coincide with Netflix parties? I don't think we're ever getting those <laughs> we'll, back. We'll never get those back. <laughs> the Xbox Seven when we're in our fifties. Uh, apparently, that is not at all the fault of Xbox. It is entirely the fault of Netflix because they. Oh, so at least I know who to blame. Yeah, Netflix. They decided that they would make their own apps. And the original Xbox Netflix app was made by Microsoft. So Microsoft cares more about the user experience than Netflix? Yes. That's actually you... legitimately surprising. I'm because not Netflix surprised is... at all. I'm not surprised but at all either. Netflix is geared around sharing and spending you know, time with people. You know, That's why they allow you to give codes to other people. That's why you can use it in every room of the house. Uh, well, here's a stupid question. If you're gonna, like, why, why can't, why can't you just make sure that everybody that wants to sit and watch Netflix together starts the show at the same time and you're in a party? We've, we've resorted to that before. Yeah. After Xbox parties, but sometimes it gets a little wonky. And God forbid if one person's net or uh, Netflix crashes, it doesn't pause it for everyone else. Or buffers. Yeah, or buffers. Well, maybe they should get a better internet connection. True. Some people have that choice. Some don't. Well, 
You always I'm have walking, the choice. I'm looking at you guys for the internet connection. I don't have a problem here. Dude, I'm I don't have fucking Pentel data anymore. I'm okay. <laughs> Interwebs are good G to G. Like I can finally download things at over a mega second. Yeah, my only problem now is some of the the apps are starting to be shitty. Like Crunchyroll doesn't like to play for more than an hour without crashing. Well, maybe you should not watch Crunchyroll for more than an hour. I I, I don't comprehend why that's not. <laughs> why is this a problem? Why is this an I, issue? Why is that an option? Like not watching it is not one of my choices. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Understood. Not one of the ones I, I choose willingly. Gotcha. So um, I just go back to YouTube and watch uh, other people play games, which is sad. Why would you watch on YouTube? That's what Twitch is for. Twitch is no. Well, I watch. Uh, like I said, I've mentioned before. I really like the the Gary's Mod stuff, and I like that <laughs> gaming group, uh, Van Oss and Minilad, and them. And I, I they put up three or four videos a week, and I watch them. And, and I watch funny. them. I would tell you to make sure to watch Witwicks play. I want to be the Boshi tomorrow on yeah. Twitch. But I think you'll be at work. Yeah, I work until what, seven o'clock your time. We're getting out a little early tomorrow because there's a camping trip this weekend. Uh, Camp maybe we're getting out a little early. I hope so because it's like ninety minutes away. And for those people bringing their kids, I can't imagine them making it there in time to put up a tent before dark. Well, his run is around like one year time tomorrow. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, if anything, I'll be in route. To Play home. it at work. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'll get right on making people love me even more at work. Yeah. <laughs> You're a lovable guy. I love you, Pappy. In that loving herpes kind of way. Yeah, yeah. It's basically you get used to me and I don't go away. Ever. Ever. And occasionally it burns. Ever. It's gross. Ever. It's gross. All right, so missed. anyone else have anything to talk about, or should we just get no. the music in and end this goddamn thing? Music. And so we could go That's back to watching rip. Twitch. Yeah, and the show rip. Uh, play some Kirby. Yeah, I'm cool with to that. To celebrate Kirby's birthday. Birthday. Is BCT. Is Happy birthday, Kirby. My homie. <laughs> birthday boy. Make hey, what are you some playing, noise. I, uh, <laughs> I thought we did the what are we playing thing already. Uh, yeah, everybody's been doing the same shit that they've been since last week. Yeah, we've been playing Binding of Isaac uh, and watching people play games. And I haven't played a thing. But I did watch Justice League Gods and Monsters. Pretty good. Oh, uh, and I was playing Solitaire. Yeah. Batman is a vampire. That's that's, And Superman was raised by Mexican immigrants. It's a really <laughs> interesting take on the DC Universe. Interesting. Sounds like it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Kirby Music... Gamescom next week, Rare Replay next week, and uh, rip. And I'll still be alive. Rip. Rip in, rip in peace. Rip. 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 Rip, rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip. Rip. <laughs> so how long is this going to go on?